Hello everyone and welcome back to Project Ozone Reloaded Titan Mode. This is episode 40 and today in a little bit of a departure on sort of the direction I've been going I want to focus specifically on Galacticraft because that is the part of the quest book that I have made really the least progress on. If you look at the progress on all the various chapters they've got decent progress except for IOTA which is only at 20 percent and it's because of all the stuff in Galacticraft that has barely been touched. So I want to start by crafting a bunch of this stuff. I don't know if I'm going to be able to launch a rocket today or not. I will certainly try if there's time and, and I can get it all figured out. The reality is I don't know that much about Galacticraft, but I'm going to see if I can figure out uh, enough of it to go ahead and get my space station constructed and at least get that far with it. So the next quest in this quest line is the electric compressor and I have been going through a little in advance of the episode and making sure that I kinda have all the materials available. So let's come over here and um, look up the electric compressor. Which is right here. And let's see if I've got those materials on hand. Uh, it says I do. Let's pull one out. There we go. Now the electric compressor will eventually get used for automating some of the compressed materials. But really the ones that have EMC on them, which is a lot of them, I probably will not use the electric compressor to do. It's just every time that I need a stack or two of or every time I need some, I'll just come on and grab a stack or two out of the transmutation table. I've already set up a number of them that way. So, like the uh, bronze and steel and aluminum and copper, I just went and set all of these up in advance in the transmutation table and pulled a couple of stacks out and put them in the system. Okay, so we should have that one done now. We'll claim the reward. And... At this point, it looks like the quest progression branches to the right and the left. Let's come over here. This is the oxygen detector, and it's going to require compressed steel, oxygen vents, basic wafer, compressed aluminum, redstone. I will have everything except, I think, the oxygen vents. Oxygen vents are compressed steel and compressed tin. I'm going to set up a recipe for those. Um, oxygen vents right here and while I'm at it let me go ahead and there are a couple other things that I know I'm gonna need here that are components of some of these I'm gonna need an oxygen fan as well so let's just go ahead and set up a recipe for that and I know I'm also gonna need this oxygen concentrator might not have all the components for that I don't okay um, one of them was a tin canister and this one is, I've got it set up in the system. I'll just go ahead and craft um, 10 of them here, maybe. These actually use the HDPE pellets from, um, from Mechanism. So this is one of the things that you actually have to have that whole ethylene line that produces HDPE set up for. I have the line there and can make more if I run out, but I think I've got a couple of thousand in the system, and I probably will never run out of them. So... If, if I do run out, I'll reactivate it and make some more. So we should be a little closer here. The other item this needed was the oxygen vent. So let's go ahead and plug that in. And I'll just move these recipes up here. So we'll put that there. And oxygen vent. And I can put that in there, and that'll let me pull that recipe out. Okay, another one that I'm probably going to need. I know I'm going to need some of these heavy oxygen tanks at some point, and an oxygen mask. I'll wait on those a little bit, because I may have a quest specifically to make those. But let me put this in here, and put away my chance cube and my quarter heart. What was it that I was specifically looking here for? The oxygen detector. So 
Um, oxygen detector, one of these things. Right there. So put that in there. And we're still missing one of those right here. I'm probably going to need several of those. I'll just go ahead and make 10. They do have EMC and can, can be undone if I need to. Okay, so there's my oxygen detector. And get the quest reward. And this is going to do the O2 storage, the O2 collection. Let's look at this other side first, um, just to see what progress I can make through the whole thing. The refinery is going to require reinforced alloy, basic wafer, compressed steel. These copper canisters are the only thing that's maybe just a little more problematic with them. They require brown plastic. And I have made some brown plastic, and I'm hoping I don't need very many of these things because... If I do, I'll have to set up plastic um, production again for uh, Pneumaticraft. I've sort of got all of it except the piece that specifically converts LPG into liquid plastic. I can set it up again. I would just rather not if I don't have to. But I do have the rest of this in here, and I've got it set up. Let's um, copper canister. Let's go ahead and make two of those. And this was the refinery, right? Let's see. So we're looking for this one, which, um, let's see. Looks like I can make it right away. So we'll turn that one in. So we've got this whole bottom section now opened up. This one's going to be really easy. This is just the glowstone torch. It does say to make 64 of them. That, of course, isn't really a problem. It's just a stick in glowstone dust. So stick, got lots of those, and glowstone, and just make a stack of them there. Is that enough? Yes. It's a detection task. That's kind of interesting. Uh, claim reward. All right. And I guess for the moment, I'm just going to put all these things away. All right. Next, let's look at O2 storage. We'll just start from the bottom and work our way up here. Oxygen storage module. Here I'm going to need heavy oxygen tanks, and heavy oxygen tanks are made from tin canisters, compressed steel, and red wool. I think I have all those things on hand, except maybe the tin canister. Oh no, I made ten of them. Okay, so I should have all those. So we're going straight for the heavy tanks. We're not going to mess with the smaller ones, it looks like. So we've got a pattern there. And I probably need to just go ahead and make three of these. And the other one was, it was oxygen storage, right? Um, well, that's what the quest is called. It's actually oxygen storage module. Hmm. I didn't see that. There it is. Control like that. Um, make a recipe for this. I can. Well, that's not right. Yeah, it is. However, let me see what I'm missing here. It just said to make one. Did I pull one out? No, I didn't. I just pulled the recipe out. And it is a crafting task. So let's go ahead and put this in here because I might need more than one of them. But I'm going to need some more tanks. I think. Compressed steel, compressed steel, heavy oxygen tank. Yeah. Let's go ahead and make... Um, a few of those. 
All right, so now we've got one. Get the reward. Okay, fuel loader and O2 collection. Let's just stick with oxygen for the moment. This we need an oxygen compressor and an oxygen collector. So the oxygen compressor is right here. It has this oxygen concentrator module in it. Otherwise, it's just a bunch of compressed um, metal. And I'm going to need a few of these, so I'll just tell it to make some. All right. So there's our compressor. The collector is the next one. It uses one of those. It also uses an oxygen vent and an oxygen fan and a tin canister. Looks like we're missing the fan and the canister. Uh, I will end up using both of these, I think, so it's not any big deal that I made two of them. Okay, and there's the collector. So we've got these. Then we need an oxygen sealer as we continue up. They definitely don't make it trivial to make all this stuff, do they? Oxygen, was that the sealer? No, that's the collector. Sealer. All right, right there. Kind of an expensive item with all those ultimate control circuits. But I do have all the materials I need on hand at this point, so I'll just grab one out. All right. And now we get to an interesting part here. This is the NASA workbench, which you use to construct rockets. And it is eh, somewhere in here. Let's see. I'm going to need a laser, which is a mechanism thing that I don't have at the moment, some crafting units. It's also going to need sentient ender. This is the thing that requires a witch cell. So these are kind of scarce. Hopefully I only need one of these things. Uh, let's take a look here. Okay, so I do have everything I need except for the two crafting units and the laser. Crafting units are easy enough. They're, they should have a recipe set up in here. There we go. Now the lasers may be a little more complicated because I don't have it set up in here. I'm going to go ahead and switch to the recipe for the laser and put it here, though. And I'll just have to recall the other one. Um, tablet. I have those. And this recipe required two of them. What was the thing in the middle? It was an advanced wafer. I thought I had advanced wafers. I do. i got a bunch of them here. Why didn't it show up? Maybe that's not the right item. Uh... Okay, it's not. It's a steel casing. That's what I need. Mixing up my recipes. Having to drill down. But that's easily enough managed. Alright, so there's my laser. And like I said, I'm kind of hoping I only have to set up one of these. And if that is the case, then I won't have to worry about... Um, setting up a recipe permanently for that one. So it didn't pick up the laser even though it was in there. Probably yeah it has two um, I don't know if it's thousand or a million but it's got a bunch of RF in it and so it wouldn't catch it because it was charged from my inventory. Okay so we've got that made and now it wants us to go ahead and make a tier one rocket. But let's go ahead and get this other stuff done because before we can fly in the rocket, we're definitely going to need a rocket launch pad and we're going to need 
um, gear for surviving in space. So let's come down here to the fuel loader. We're also going to need a way to fuel the rocket. So this is a bunch of stuff that, that I should already have all of, or at least have recipes for it if I don't. So let's take a look. Fuel loader. And so it's telling me that I don't have the elite control circuit for it. Let's just make a bunch of those. There we go. And so we have that now. Next is the launch pad. Launch pad's pretty easy. Blocks of iron and compressed iron. And it makes nine of them, so... Um, let's see. Blocks of iron. And compressed iron. And I may make more than one launch pad. A different one for different tier different ones for different tiers of rocket, maybe. I'm not entirely sure how this is supposed to work, but that seems at least a little bit reasonable. Let's see. There we go. And now we need to make our oxygen gear. And to do that, I'm going to need another heavy oxygen tank. So... That will craft another one of those, hopefully. No, it won't, because there are some in the system already. Okay, that time it did craft one. So let's put those away. Next I need the oxygen mask, which is just an iron helmet and some glass panes. Now it's worth mentioning on the iron helmet. I did go down and retrieve one out of... I, I, I've been trashing them all for EMC and that's just sort of been happening automatically, but I decided to go ahead and remove the iron helmet from the filter that admits stuff into that um, energy condenser that's trashing the iron helmets long enough to actually get an iron helmet and then I just put it here in the transmutation table and the reason for doing that of course is that you've got this long chain of stuff that's involved in making an iron helmet if you don't do it this way it's a little more complicated and I just don't want to deal with that so I made an iron helmet the traditional way or not the traditional way I guess I suppose it is the traditional way looting things off of the corpse of your enemy is is traditional right <laughs> but that isn't the um, the crafting way alright oxygen gear we need oxygen pipes and an oxygen concentrator. Now, I know that I set up the recipe for the pipes. So let's just make some of those. And I've got an, a spare oxygen concentrator there, so I think we're probably okay on that. The oxygen gear. There we go. And... Let's see. We still need the frequency module. The frequency module... I think I'll have all those. I probably have to tell the... Uh, what is that thing called? The redstone repeater. I'll have to tell it to craft one. There we go. All right, so now I have the gear, uh, except for, I guess, the oxygen tanks, because I'll have to fill the oxygen tanks. Now, to install this gear, we're going to go over to this fourth tab on the window, which has a like a glass pane-looking thing here, and I can just uh, stick it all in there. So there's also room for 
two oxygen tanks, and a parachute. Uh, okay, we we'll just claim that one. So the rocket is the thing that's left here. In order to craft the rocket, I'm going to need to put down a NASA workbench. I don't know if this thing requires power or not. Let's, uh, does it show that it has power? It doesn't really indicate anything very interesting to me that way. Let me just put it down right here where it would have power anyway. If it turns out, oh, it says not enough room, so it's a huge block. Well, okay, I'll tell you what. We'll do that one, but I'll set it up somewhere where there's more space for it. But let's open these first. Elevator, chunk loaders. Soap and water, diamond apple, water walking belt, uh, AE cabling. Let's uh, put some of this stuff away to make more space. Alright, and I'm going to put that in there because I don't need the circuit fabricator. More soap and water, anti-builders, uh, decorative blocks, plastic in irrelevant colors, uh, and the automatic hammers. And the reason I say irrelevant colors is because I don't think there are any recipes that need those specific colors that are that we're depending on for completing this mod pack. Now a heart, it looks like I could combine a three quarters and a quarter to get a full heart and a couple of those to get a half and it looks like um, I can get four more hearts. Let's um, see how we're doing here. 34, 35, 36, 37 total hearts now. So I, I actually have died twice, I think, but I've got lots of, um, lots of spare hearts. All right, so these other machines, I don't... I'll leave them in there for now. Let's come up here and set up this thing somewhere convenient. Now, this is, I think, where the village used to be. But I've removed the village and I removed the cows. The cows are over here, I think. So why don't I just go ahead and set up this thing right here. Okay, so there's our NASA workbench. It doesn't really show that it needs power, but it's, it's, it's effectively a crafting table. It requires some things. And what we're going to have to make in it is the Tier 1 rocket. And let's see here how this works. So we don't need anything in these slots up at the top, but we need a nose cone and four fins and a rocket engine and a whole bunch of heavy-duty plates. Now, the total number of heavy-duty plates we need is going to be larger. There's eight there. That takes it up to 11. Uh, and this takes it up to up another 16 which is going to take it up to um, 27 I guess and this is going to add another four so we're going to need 31 of these heavy-duty plates they're made in a compressor it looks like or the electric compressor I wasn't really expecting to have to make those but alright that will work uh, so the, the electric compressor is going to make them four at a time, and the compressor is going to make them two at a time. And that's just going to be steel, aluminum, and bronze. I'll go ahead and set up the electric compressor, and we'll see how this works. Uh, eventually, I'll probably, I think to automate this, I'm going to have to make more than one of them. I'm not 100% sure, but let's see. The electric compressor, and if I recall, these machines want to take power on the side like that. Okay, so it's powered up. Now, compressed, and this one wanted bronze and steel and aluminum, I think. 
So there's my steel. And the aluminum is right here. So which order did that need to go in there? That's a tier five. And it's a tier four. Hmm. Six, three, two, tier one. Uh, right here. Okay. So what we're making is heavy duty plates, and it goes in the order steel, aluminum, bronze. So steel there, aluminum there, bronze there. And we're hoping to get that this will get us at least 31 plates, I think. Okay. So I can start making let's let's do the the nose cone first since I only need one of them. It's going to be a redstone torch and three of these plates. Next, let's go ahead and make the um, the engine. The engine is going to be a little complicated. We need this oxygen vent and a tin canister and a flint and steel and a button. So, I guess uh, let's just come back in here and get it the usual way. Where is that? It keeps hiding these things. There's so many of these different kinds of rockets, and they all look exactly the same, really. Uh, engine. So we're okay there. We're only missing that top piece. And that top piece was a uh, flint and steel. And I'll just make this outside the AE system. There we go. Now the reason I'm not setting these up in recipes is that different tiers of, of um, rockets have different ways you have to make these things. And so I don't really know what the consequence of that's going to be. Button. Got those. Uh, plates. Don't have those. There we go. All right, now the last piece that I'm going to need for this is the, um, I'm going to need four of the fins. Uh, it's hiding from me again. All right. That wasn't quite the right way to do it. I clicked the wrong thing. There we go. So one, two, three, don't quite have enough plates for that. Three, four, now we're going to need eight more plates and hopefully we have that many left. We do, we have nine. All right, so let's uh, try and assemble a rocket. I haven't, I've never done the assembly of a rocket before. I have flown up to the space station before and looked around, but I did it on a test world, and I just cheated it in. So I haven't actually used this machine before. So we're going to see how this thing works. So we'll assemble these pieces like so. And pull out a rocket. That was easy. Okay. So I'm going to have to set up a bunch of stuff here. We're not going to be able to, to fly to the space station today, but I'm going to set up a whole bunch of stuff. Let's just start by putting down this launch pad. And I think I can go ahead and put the rocket on it. There we go. 
And between episodes, I will take and get this all set up and fueled, and we'll be ready to um, head off to the space station and probably the moon as well in, in the next episode. So I guess this will wrap it up. So thank you for watching, and I will see you next episode.